The common approach to teaching business English today is wrong. It's the complete opposite of how it should be, especially if you want to have English communication skills in the business world. To become confident, over 75% of our learning focus needs to be on speaking and listening, which are the key parts of effective English communication as a business professional. Hi, it's Grant. In this video, I'm going to explain how I think the way people are teaching English and have been teaching English for years is just wrong. It doesn't make any sense. I hope you enjoy this video. Do you remember your first English class? You might think of books, grammar exercises, and lots of memorizing. That's how most people in the world learned English and continue to learn English today. But when you try to use English in real life, especially at work, you quickly see something doesn't match. Why? Because in all countries, the way most people teach English is different from how you use English in real life. Let me explain with an example. Your teachers spent a lot of time teaching reading and writing in school. They'd say, do this grammar exercise, do this quiz, memorize these words. In fact, many studies show that around 75% of English class time is spent on reading and writing. But here's the surprise. In real life, we spend more than 75% of our time listening and speaking. And this is true of all languages. Imagine that. When we use a language in daily life, especially at work, we mostly listen and talk to others. But in class, we're mostly reading and writing. It's like training for a swimming competition by only practicing basketball. No wonder speaking English feels so hard. The common approach to teaching business English today is wrong. It's the complete opposite of how it should be, especially if you want to have English communication skills in the business world. To become confident, over 75% of our learning focus needs to be on speaking and listening, which are the key parts of effective English communication as a business professional. This difference between classroom teaching and real world use of English is a big problem. Many people feel nervous when they have to speak English because they never get enough practice when trying to learn English but it's never too late to change. In my videos, I will focus on what really matters, speaking and listening. That's exactly how I coached my private business English clients. If you want to be confident in English, you must practice how you'll use it in the real world. That means more talking and listening and less just reading and writing. To summarize, to be confident in the real world, let's train for it. Let's practice English the way we really use it, speaking and listening. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.